Here's something that you may never have thought about. All cameras are right-handed. Have you ever noticed that? That they all have their hand grip on the right-hand side of the camera and the shutter release button is always on the right end of the camera. Now, if you have two usable hands, this isn't a problem. Even if you are naturally left-handed, you can still hold a camera and work the shutter with your right hand. But what if you have only one hand and that happens to be your left hand? What can you do then? Well, I can tell you that using a heavy single lens reflex like this Nikon is just simply impossible if you only have your left hand with which to control it. Now all of this was brought home to me in a rather dramatic fashion a couple of months ago when I had a close encounter with a savage beast that took a fancy to my right hand. When I came out of hospital after surgery, my hand was in a disabling splint and it had to stay in that splint for eight weeks. And that meant that for two months I was not going to be able to take any photos. Well, this was an intolerable state of affairs and it occurred to me that I couldn't possibly be the only person in the world who had the use of only my left hand and an ambition to take photographs with a serious camera. So I looked for a commercial solution to the problem, all of the usual retail places for instance, looking even for something as simple as a pistol grip on which I could mount a camera, but I could find nothing. I tried the internet, I tried eBay, not even in Hong Kong do they cater for left-handed unidexters, which meant that if I was going to take photos at all, I would have to solve the problem for myself. So I gave it some thought, and I thought if I'm going to modify any camera so that it can be used with just a, the left hand, probably the best type of camera is something like this Olympus EP1 because it's reasonably light, it's quite compact, but it produces images comparable with those from any digital single lens reflex. So this had all of the qualities that I wanted for a desirable left-handed camera. How was I going to hold it? Well, I knew that a pistol grip was the obvious and ideal solution, but as I couldn't find one, I'd have to make my own. In my box of bits and pieces, I had some of these Kodak plastic table tripods. I bought a whole job lot of them from an online auction site. I paid about 40 cents each. And the wonderful thing about this little tripod is when you fold the legs up together, the whole thing locks into a solid, more or less, single piece. And it just happens to be the right size for my hand and uh, for, to form the core of a pistol grip for the camera. So that was how I could hold and mount the camera, mount the camera here using the tripod screw into the tripod socket on the camera. That part of the problem was easy, easily solved. Now, how was I going to operate the shutter button not having the use of my right hand? I have uh, a cable release for the Olympus and I thought, if I can put these two things together, the tripod and the cable release, and turn them into what is more or less a single unit, I could have a very comfortable and usable pistol grip with a shutter release. I bought this handlebar grip from the local rubber shop. It cost me $5, and they come in different sizes and I found that it would bind the two pieces together snugly and I now have a very comfortable pistol grip and a shutter release here where my thumb falls naturally and easily. So there it was, it was no trouble at all to create a pistol grip for the camera. Okay, now we attach the, uh, the, the camera to the grip. Now all, all of these obviously I had to get help from friends when I only had the use of one hand. I couldn't do all of this myself, but they didn't seem to mind offering a little bit of help. There's the unit, the camera, mounted on the pistol grip, my left hand, thumb falls naturally 
onto the shutter release button. So the only drawback with this system that I have found is that the cable on the Olympus cable release is so very, very long that uh, I have had to bundle it up here and it dangles down, but it doesn't get in the way and it's not a problem, so I just live with that. So th there we are, there's the, there's the camera. Um, I can now control it entirely, I can hold it, I can control it just with my left hand. Take a photo. So for those of you who feel that uh, you have been deprived of the opportunity of becoming a photographer because you only have a left hand, take heart because I think that you would find that uh, the solution to the problem of the left-handed camera, as I have found, is pretty simple and inexpensive. So go for it and happy snapping.